Hello guys, so welcome to Care Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a new tutorial on modeling and texturing a JCB in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's go into file, view image file, and let's open up some references over here. So I'll just go into this. I'll take some references of a uh, JCB. So we'll start modeling this. So I have taken some of the references. So how we can start up with the modeling of this is like. So very first of all, let's take a plane. It's going to be a bit more complicated. Let's go onto the top view. And if you see the shape, it is not like a box kind of, we'll be utilizing. So first take another reference. Okay. So it's a very different stuff. So let's take a line over here and go into this select like this draw a shape like this draw a shape like this draw again and I can just close the shape So after this, uh, what I have done is I have just created a basic shape for it. Push this up over here. So I will not go with any of the details right now. I will go into this and let's give an extrude modifier. I will slightly just push this up. So once you have just pushed this up over here, I'll just convert to editable poly. I'll slightly just scale this wherever it is required. So we are trying to create this main unit over here. Again, I'll go into this and slightly push this a bit out over here this way after that let's again go over here slightly just shuffle this a bit further right click let's use one cut and let's close this and I'll isolate this again I'll use a bit of cut over here and I will close this <coughs> now I will again click over here and I can just close this over here again so we can definitely remove it later on if not required I know we are forming triangles over here. That's totally okay for now. Now, what I can do over here is like, so if you see this part, we can uh, definitely put a loop. So I'll shuffle this up. Put a loop over here. So let's give one connect. I'll push this till here. Select this and slightly just I'll push it inside. Pop it. Again, go into this 
and let's take one more connect over here so this connect is going to be placed up till here so if you can you can slightly just shuffle it more further select this polygons and extrude it down so slightly I'll just extrude this down over here so go into this view over here so now if you see this part I can let's go into the modeling and let's take a swift loop so I'll just take a swift loop over here so now what I can do over here is like I'll again go over here so you're not defining any kind of details right now I'm just blocking this for now I'll just put some loops over here, here and you can just give something a bit of a curve in this way now again go over here let's go to the top view let's select this and let's assign one vertices and slightly I'll just make this a bit curve so we can just define a bit of a curve if required and we can <coughs> so again go to the top view let's go to the top view same way slightly behind let's again take a line and if required you can shuffle this a bit and make this a bit curve again take a line over here so now I'll define a line a bit from out in this way in this way and you can just <coughs> close this select this and let's give fillet push it inside I'll go into this I'll put a bit of refine over here slightly now what I can do over here is like again you can put some vertices slightly adjusted and give a <coughs> modifier so let's give a modifier called extrude over here 
and into this I will just make this as 10 and I will just push this up in this way. So again I will go into this line and on this I will slightly just shuffle it inside if required. So definitely we can uh, do the details later on, we are just blocking it right now. So I will just go into this, convert to editable poly, select this polygons and slightly I can assign a bit of insect and slightly I will extrude it a bit inside over here click ok so select the edges so again I'll go into this I'll select this edges and I'll slightly give a bit of chamfer to it so we can assign a chamfer if required or else and isolate this again over here so nothing to worry if we want we can just detail it later on also so I think uh, I can just undo this I will keep this in line mode only because later on if I want to change anything then I can ex expand this also so that would be easy for me to work actually ok now this looks much better Now we can just go over here and let's take a box over here and isolate this. So we are going to push this up very high from the ground ground level so definitely we are going to work more on the unit we are just in the blocking stage so select this box make this box like this So convert to editable poly, select the edges, select the edges and if you want we can give a bit of chamfer to it or else first I will just scale this. We will do the detailing part later on. So select the edges over here and, and I can slightly chamfer this in this way. So again select the vertices. I will slightly just push this down. So select the box. Take a box again right away go to the top view so 
So let's again take a box. So I can just extrude this till here. So definitely we can work with the proportions. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.